Now, today, Kamala Harris sat down with good friend and arguably America's most famous television host, Oprah Winfrey. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it was as sickening as you'd imagine. The real measure of the strength of a leader is based on who you lift up. And it's, it, it's important for us... Absolutely. To articulate you know, that. You know, majority of young Americans, 18 to 34, say that the cost of living is their top issue ahead of the election. Let's take a look. Groceries are extremely expensive right now. I don't understand how people are affording life right now. By a long shot, her tax plan is phenomenal. No glaze. Kamala Harris just delivered her new economic plan, and boy, oh boy, is it good for small business owners. Bullshit, you guys, Kamala Harris is gonna announce tomorrow a $25,000 tax credit for first-time home buyers. Now, we didn't just get this off the internet afterwards. This was part of the Oprah special. Now, she did her usual thing as well, of course, pointing out the complete obvious. And I look around at these screens, Oprah, I look at who's in the room, and this is America. This is. This is America. Yes, yes, it is America. Now, Oprah made the unintentionally very powerful, I thought, point that something about Kamala changed drastically when Joe Biden withdrew. This was Kamala's response to that. You know, we each have those moments in our lives where it's time to step up. Time to step up. Time to step up, you know? Yeah, see, I reckon, I reckon the time to step up might just have potentially been three and a half years ago when she became the vice president. I mean, better late than never, absolutely. And at least some in the audience were willing to ask proper questions. What would be your specific steps to strengthening the border? So it's a wonderful and important question. Um, I, you know, my background was as a prosecutor. Yes, Kamala, we know. She went on to blame Trump. That was her answer. Now, when she was asked about what she would specifically, and that's key because people keep saying specifically because she doesn't give specifics, what she would specifically do to bring down the cost of groceries, she again spoke about being brought up by a hard-working mother. You could not make this stuff up. Now, I promise I won't force you to sit through much more, but stay with me. When the middle class is strong, America is strong. Amen to that. Amen right. to that. No, I agree completely. So why isn't it already after nearly four years in power, Kamala? Now, young sexual assault victim Hadley Duval was there. Now, she is a young woman who was raped by her stepfather as a child. Horrific. At age 12, I took my first pregnancy test, and it was positive. Hadley is here. Stand up, Hadley. Now, she is incredibly brave and strong, absolutely. And as you could just see, Hollywood superstars shed tears, Meryl Streep, Julia Roberts. It was highly emotional. And, of course, it was used to highlight the eradication of Roe v. Wade and abortion rights being handed to each state. But I don't know the answer to this, but did they invite any other young victims of crime, of rape, families of people murdered, or those families who have been hurt or lost loved ones because of... I don't know, out-of-control crime, illegal immigration, global conflicts that may have started due to American weakness, so many lives lost, tragedies that can be directly linked to her administration. No, of course not. Make no mistake about it, this was a commercial. It was an ad disguised as an interview. This is going to be won by a field margin. It's on us to roll up our sleeves and do the work. Let's make phone calls and knock on doors. Go to go.kamalaharris.com to join this people-powered movement. I am a mother of two kids. This is their first chance to vote in an election, and I couldn't be more excited for them. And I love Julia Roberts as an actress. I think she is divine. But even some of the best actors in the world could not disguise the reality. Have a look at this. I want 
people to say, oh, you're American? And not, oh, huh. how's it going over there? Julia, Kamala's currently in power. She's been there for over three years, so she clearly hasn't managed to shift that attitude. Now, it went on and on, and always credit where it's due. There is one thing I do agree with Kamala on, and that is gun control. Look, I, I think for far too long on the issue of gun violence, some people have been pushing a really false choice to suggest you're either in favor of the Second Amendment or you want to take everyone's guns away. I'm in favor of the Second Amendment. And I'm in favor of assault weapons bans, universal background checks, red flag laws. Yeah, I'm for all of that as well. But her response, Ari, owning a gun herself was, well, let me play it for you. I'm a you gun owner. Tim I Rose is a gun. I did not know that. <laughs> if somebody and I thought that breaks in my house, they're getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I, I, I hear that. I hear that. Probably should not have said that. <laughs> <laughs> but my I, staff will deal with that later. Yeah. <laughs> probably the most honest, real and raw she's been. If somebody breaks into my house, they're getting shot. Now, just imagine, just imagine that it was Donald Trump sitting there and saying those exact words. Imagine what her response and the rest of the Democrats' response would have been to a line like that. Just imagine. Now, let me leave you with this super powerful exchange. As we have 47 days um, until November 5th, What's on your heart? Freedom to be who you are and just be, to love who you love openly and with pride. Freedom to just be. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think Oprah had any idea what she meant. Hmm.